Anyway, so I know it can see me. Yeah. But my name is Ember Witch, and this is. <laughs> but pretty much Thomas, Dr. Shell. And that's Emily behind Foxy. And for some of you guys that don't know, Rochelle is the person that I play Killing Floor with and all the other multiplayer games with. And waddle, waddle, waddle. I'll be so uploading soon. Hopefully. All right. So, how do I get it started? Oh, ho! Oh, fuck. Okay. I'm going forward. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, look. It's a knife. <laughs> hey, knifey. Hey, knifey. You look so cute. I can try to, try to interact with it, but it's not letting me interact. So I'm just gonna back away. Hey, look! Do the hustle. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Why are you dancing? Are you that scary? I'm not peeing myself. I'm also not drunk. Oh! Oh! Hey, my first thing! I haven't played a game in 10 years. It's a weekend to get Katie, but I'm not really in the mood. Yeah, me neither, honey. I distracted her with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't inter 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 I could <laughs> interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Sounds like me in biology. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help. Are you leaving me? Damn. I see how Because I am not depressed, I am enlightened. This is the result of two decades of... Oh, 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 oh. This is getting a little... This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pandering. Pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Um, dude, you have a knife? Yeah, this is going to be great. This is going to be great to read today. I guess he didn't feel like reading. I feel like chopping off his arm, though. Chopping off his arm, though. I mean, damn. It. Okay. Oh, look, it's a... What is this? Oh, it's a flashlight! Oh, my huh. Hey, don't judge me. Wait, wait. I'll press on everything. Nah, press on everything. Oh, look, here's another note. It appears to be a page from a manual manuscript. Pop morality is too reliant on emotions and not reliant enough on rational thought. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that it is that, that is a farce, it should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral, unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to, to prove them as immoral. Uh, what's really weird is there are nails. I'm just saying. <laughs> at, least you, at least you know what I was going for. Hey, I just went to church. <clears throat> when I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt that same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. Yay! Well, if you're in a kinky shit, I can't say I can't say anything. I mean, I mean, well, we actually keep it in the sacristy next to the church. But anyway, no, it was really funny. I actually poured the wrong. I hope so. Are we in the cellar? Yeah. Oh, this is creepy. Can you open this? Now you creeped out. Go to the other door that you have passed like three times. Oh, no. It says to exit, you just go through this door. So I think it's like to end the game, you go here. See, exit. Oh, oh, oh shit. I told y'all. Wait, so it's all in that one room? Oh, look, another note. Hey. I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as the door lock code in my survival bunker. But whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. But she's like her mother. A delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Survival bunker. Yeah, there it is. Hey. Ember Witchy was right. And it's a, it's a, uh, what? 
up in the fuck? Am I going to get carbon, carbon monoxide poisoning or something? Mm -hmm. uh, what? No, wait. Yes, no. Katie. I think that's what it said. Let me check it real quick. Yep, Katie. I press. Oh! Oh no! Oh, it's a dark space! I like the other place better. The other place was brighter, Fred. Oh, this is getting creepy. No, it's a letter! It's finally happened. The whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams when the ashes settle. We'll be able to look like wild animals again. I am ecstatic beyond words. <laughs> Whoa. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days. And she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started. And I have no idea what to do with her. Oh boy. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I are only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom from all the irrational rules and ins inane no! social values. Just pure, beautiful, and survival. Yeah, I know where this is going. Oh. <laughs> daddy, why? Daddy, why? This is going to some daddy shit. I'm not even daddy, please. Stop! <laughs> this is me, daddy. Ah! <laughs> ah! I'm going to be sick. Okay, so I'm in this room. What do I do? Um, hold on, let me... Oh, shit. Oh, I, I tried it, it didn't open. I can try. Oh, wait. Box! Oh, wait! Another... Another newt. I boxed up everything that isn't practical and useful. I burned all the books that weren't for scientific edification. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just pile them up near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them anyway. Ooh. Well, okay. Blood. Okay, he killed that kid. So apparently that's um And Rochelle just went darker. Stop. <laughs> Open this damn door. Yeah, you're right. What's in this box? Bones. Oh no! Oh god, no, fuck. What? Hmm. Take your bones. Oh god, okay, so I'm going- Oh! Don't let me. The tool room has been her name for years now and I can't bring myself to change it. Okay. Okay. Tool room? Is this a tool room? Maybe this is it. I, I don't know. This is. Well, I think it's already opened. Okay, I could try that. So apparently I got it right no matter what. But it's saying the tool room. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to look for the tool room. Leon? That was the wife's True. Yeah. Yep. Walking, just keep walking. Oh look, knife. Kniffy! It's a kniffy. Kniff. It says an hour and a half. It says like a half an hour it's supposed to take all this. So I'm like, okay, this is gonna be great. Hey, are you open? Oh god. Okay. Let's be chill. Let's Oh, there's blood. There's blood and nails and oh, are we? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm. This is a. I'm. I'm. I'm leaving. I'm a. 
We all do. I changed the storage room code to something I can easily remember. N N Y. The rest of the word is missing. Oh, Lynn. I assume. N N Y. L N N Y. Yeah, it could be backwards to protect the code. Oh, another note. I've wanted to do for years. Just hours I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. Been nearly a year since I've seen a woman, and now I realize there's no practical reason to keep those desires locked up anymore. I know where this is going. Very quickly! And, uh, right. Oh, yep, there is. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's like, she's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures, and we've barely able to find enough to survive. I turned her crayons into candles. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again, and it, help, and it helps break up the monotony. I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. So something's gotten worse. Once again... Okay. And slowly walk back. Slowly walk back. That's true. Open trap door. Nope. Yee yee. Oh great. <laughs> okay, it's a small, it's a small room. No big deal. Nothing that can surprise us or kill me. I, I am a bag of DNA and I exist to make more of myself. Oh. <laughs> Daddy, why? <laughs> I know where this is going. I am married and produce a daughter because my genes demanded reproduction. I wrote books and created because creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to live by because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and to protect their genes, dreams, loves, opinions, desires, beauty, innocence, figments of our collective primordial imagination. Fleeting electrical signals that fire across our synapses for a pointless moment in time that used to serve a purpose. And now they are needless confusion. And here I am, the last man on earth, for all I know, ready to be freed from them. Oh boy. I am feeling a bit uh, frightened, so let's continue. You? Ladies and gentlemen, let's go this way a little bit. I see a button. Yeah, first let me check everything else first, and then... Nope, it still looks like it's... Oh no, it's... Giggity. Oh, well, fuck. What did I get stuck on? Chair. Chairs! My mortal enemy! Much like my belly fat. It's deeper. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh. oh I knew it! And... Uh, <laughs> they're finger bones! Stellar is freedom. The cellar is freedom. The cellar is freedom. Okay, okay. <laughs> fucking finger bones, I fucking told you! So what do I do now? I'm Type freedom. Yeah. Stinger bones? Guess that would be it. <sighs> so, Brittany, do you have any Jack Daniels I can borrow? Nope. I know, but I didn't want to take liquor in my car. Uh, ready? Oh, Jesus. Ah! Okay. And I'm free now. Freedom looks like the end of like humanity here. Oh, God. Holy shit. Oh, no. My flashlight's going out. Uh. Oh. Ah! Thomas, fuck. Sorry. It seems to have been torn from a diary. 
She finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods. Her fingers, my anti-religious artifacts, my testaments to moral and intellectual freedom are locked in the safe upstairs. I am content in the knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong. Oh, Jesus. The father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years, starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one last flicker, the flashlight died and he was left in the pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear her, even now. It was peaceful here in the cellar. It was free here in the cellar. Fuck that. Nope, fuck it. Yeah. Turn that shit off. Yup. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, I'm gonna cry now.